Hi, I'm Joshua Schnitzer, Pre-Sales Engineer at SysAid Technologies. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install SysAid with the MS SQL database. First, we're going to go to sysaid.com. We're going to press on Get Started, Get Free Trial. In the Get Free Trial page, you have two options, SysAid Pro and SysAid Enterprise. They have some differences. You can read about them here. For this video, we're just going to download SysAid Pro. So press on Get Pro Trial. In the Get Pro Trial page, you have two more options, SysAid In-House and SysAid Cloud. SysAid In-House is installed on your server. You maintain the database and security. SysAid Cloud is installed on our servers. We maintain the database and security. For this video, we're going to do In-House. So let's fill out the form. When choosing an account name, you must use all lowercase letters, no special characters, and it must be an account name that we do not currently have in our system. You might have to try a few times. Let's accept the agreement. Get free trial. Once you have the thank you page, you can go and check your email. You'll see you've received two emails from us. Welcome to your SysAid Pro Trial Edition. That's just a welcome letter. And your 30-day tri trial of SysAid Pro Edition. This is the email with the download links and the activation file. Let's take a look at it. In this email, there's a couple important links. The first link here is to download the full installer of SysAid Pro Edition. This is if you do not have SysAid currently installed. If you currently are a free edition user and you want to upgrade your free edition to Pro, you'd want to use the link in the middle of the email. Download the appropriate file. In addition to that, you would need to download the activation.xml file which is attached to the email. You're going to need it later, so remember where you save it. I've downloaded both files to my desktop, so let's get started. We're going to double click on SysAid server, run. Welcome to the SysAid Server Setup Wizard. Next. Accept the agreement. You can read it if you like. I'm not going to. Next. At this point, the setup asks you for the setup type, typical or customized. Typical setup will bring you right through very quickly and install using the Derby database. But because we are installing with the MS SQL database, we have to go to the customized option. By default, SysAid will install in C program files for a 32-bit machine and C program files x86 for a 64-bit machine. I don't recommend changing this. Next. The program folder, SysAid. Let's not change it. Next. Depending upon the speed of your computer, this may take some time. Please be patient. At this point, SysAid is asking you for the license file. That is the activation.xml file you saved from the email. Let's just browse to it. Press open. Val this is a valid SysAid license file. Next. At this point, SysAid asks you what database to install with. Using the Embedded Derby database, you can just press next. But, but because this video is for MS SQL, we're going to click on Use External Database. Next. We're going to make sure that the database type is Microsoft SQL, and then we're going to change the JDBC URL. Where it says local host, you want to put in the IP address or the host name of your SQL server. Where it says Iliant, you want to put in the database name that you've already created for the SysAid. Now you want to put in the username and password that has access to this database. I'm going to use the SA just because it's easier and I know it has access. And let's check the connection. Connection successful. Wonderful. Let's press next. At this point, SysAid is asking you for the email parameters. You can put them in if you'd like. You can always set this later. I'm going to skip it. This is the server port. This is the port that SysAid will listen on. 8080 is standard. You may change it if you'd like. I'm not going to, so just press next. At this point, SysAid asks you for the LDAP integration settings. Again, this can be done later on, so I'm going to simply skip it. 
you can choose a couple different languages for installation. We're going to use English for this installation. Next. This is a very important part of the installation. This is when you set up the main username for Sys8. This is the first user account that has full administrative access to the Sys8 database. Do not use an Active Directory username. This will mess you up. For this purpose, I recommend using Sys8 or Sys8 Admin. Let's press Next. At this point, the database is actually being built and the, and the user account is being added to it. It may take some time. Please be patient. Once the installation is complete, Sysaid will automatically bring you to the help tree and Sysaid itself. The help tree itself can be used at any point when you're in Sysaid to get information about the screen you're looking at. It is very robust as you can see right here. It's br it's categorized by all the different modules in Sysaid and there's a lot of information about everything. Let me show you how it looks while you're in Sysaid. Let's log in. When you're in Sysaid, anytime you need information about a screen you're looking at, let's say help desk settings, you just press on the question mark up here. It'll jump you right to the settings page or right to the help of that particular page you're looking at. It is very robust. Please look at it whenever you're in Sys8. It will give you a lot of information of exactly what you're looking at. That's it for downloading and installing Sys8 with the MS SQL database. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact us at sales at Thank you.